Welcome back to the channel, Lavasi here, and thank you all once again for joining me. Today, I have a bit of a confession to make, and it is that I like watching old cartoons. I know, I know, but there is a reason why I watch these tunes, and that is because they haven't been softened by the current squishy culture of safe spaces and preserved feelings, plus there are a few of them that have messages that are still relevant today. I will be going over a cartoon called Fifth Column Mouse that was released in 1943 by Warner Brothers and connecting it to what's going on today. Before we get into this interesting cartoon, let me define the term Fifth Column, which means a group of secret sympathizers or supporters of an enemy that engage in espionage or sabotage within defense lines or national borders. You will see how that is used in this cartoon, so let's get right into this. In the morning, in the evening, ain't we got fun? Life is sunny, oh my honey, ain't we got fun? We never were. So here we see the mice living their life, infesting this house, having fun. This is obviously a representation of a group of individuals with si similar ideas. Uh, but for the sake of this video, let's say the mice represent the American public. But then of course here comes the black cat which is an obvious and clear threat to the mice. Uh, but for this video, we are going to say that he represents uh, the shadow government or the deep state. So of course, the mice already understand the black cat is a clear and obvious threat to them. So they all scatter and run back to their hole in the wall. But oh no, what's this? One of them gets caught by the cat. And is now fearing for their life. What's the rush? I'm not going to hurt you. But then the cat bribes him with cheese to manipulate the other mice to serve him and he agrees. Well now this mouse is the fifth column mouse and he will be our real world politicians. Okay. There. That's better. Now get going! So now, the fifth column mouse has been bribed. He goes back and convinces the other mice who are rightly apprehensive at first to serve the cat as he listens closely to make sure he spreads the correct narrative. It warms my soul to hear the mice laugh at the idea of offending the cat. This is something we do more of today. Of course, as the mice trust the fifth column mouse, they listen to him and try to make peace with the cat in exchange for protection. So they basically submit to the cat for their health and safety. That sounds familiar. 
Now the mice have fully submitted to the cat and are now doing whatever the cat desires until... Did you ever have a feeling that you uh, wanted something? Uh, but you didn't know what it was? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh sure. Uh, I always get that feeling too. I know. I want a nice, fat, tender mouse. The cat decides he wants to eat a mouse, which is, of course, what was going to eventually happen as he is a cat. And now the mice run in fear again as the fifth column mouse tries to keep them calm, but what happens? He becomes the cat's target. This is normal in these situations where the useful idiots are the first ones to be thrown to the wolves. Luckily, these mice are no pussies. And they know how to fight back. They abandon the fifth column mouse's rhetoric and formulate a plan to fight back against the cat. And win. We did it before and we can do it again. And we will do it again. We're one for all and we're all for one. They'll get a lick and before we're done. Me and the boys and the real me. Singing as we march along. We did it before and we can do it again. And we will do it again. We'll knock them over and then we'll get the guy back to them. We did it before, we'll do it again. Now listen, men, to back us out of a guy, you better leave a saga touching off the sub, see? And remember, above all, to add an over to a jibbo, reckon I'm Fosco, Fanny, Schnipper, and L on a filigadoosha. You got that? Okay. After their victory, they can relax and once again enjoy themselves. And when the fifth column mouse tries to comment, he gets the response he deserves. Now I understand that I did not make a one-to-one -one correlation between the definition of the fifth column and that is because this concept can be used in many different ways. You could swap out either of the three archetypes in this cartoon with any group or entity. In my example, I made the mice, the American public, the fifth column mouse, our politicians, and the cat, the shadow government. This cartoon was made around the time when the Nazis were in power and the information is still relevant today. We are facing a similar situation here in this country today, and we need to understand and see what is happening before we become Nazi America. Now the most important part about this cartoon that we all need to pay the most attention to is the end, where the mice realize the cat's true intentions and reorganize themselves to fight back and regain their autonomy. We are currently at the stage in this assault where we need to realize what is truly going on in order to know what tools we need to fight back. This does not mean physically fighting necessarily, but to take the skills and tools each one of us has at our disposal to keep our way of life from being destroyed. Before I close on this video, I would like to thank you all for watching. Your views are greatly appreciated. And I want to remind everyone to like and share this video 
as well as leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought about this old cartoon. And definitely subscribe to see similar content from me in the future. This last cartoon I would like to show you all is another old one featuring Daffy Duck, also made in 1943, called Scrap Happy Daffy. Now I'm not going to go through the whole cartoon, but I want to go over the message that is presented at the end. Here it is, and guess what makes this message so important? I'm through. Oh, what I give for a can of spinach now. Same, Daffy. Same. Creak, 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 Uncle Dillingham Duck. Did I cry spinach when I stood a duck on Plymouth Rock? Did I in Washington give up with their Lamborghini hog? Did Dan O'Boone and me quite quits when Injun saved our scalp? Did John Paul Duck give up the ship or ever holler help? Hey, Daffy. Americans don't give up. No, Daddy, Americans don't give up. That's right. And I'm an American. Duck. Up there in the sky. It's a bird. No, it's a plane. No, it's Super American. Once again, thank you all for watching. Remember, Americans don't give up. Have a good night and keep up the fight.